Hello everybody, this is Dan Bigman, your GPR professor from LearnGPR.com. Uh, today I want to make a quick video about some limitations of ground penetrating radar. And so usually I talk in my videos, you know, about the benefits of it. I talk about how you can uh, push it to its, you know, potential. Um, but I was doing a talk the other day at a utility coordinating committee meeting, a uh, little presentation. And, uh, and somebody had the question of, you know, what are the limitations of ground penetrating radar? And it's a very valid, you know, question because a lot of times this stuff isn't addressed totally accurately or properly. Um, but I wanted to lay out a few of those limitations here, you know, right now. And I'm actually, um, was dropping my kids off at the, at, at the, uh, uh, at some camp. Okay. And so stop for a second to give, give a video and I'll show you why in a minute. But in this presentation to answer their question, I gave them three limitations of ground penetrating radar. So limitation number one is contrast, right? You have to have contrast between the target and the material. And if there's not enough contrast between the target and the host material, then you're going to struggle with the GPR to actually map and identify your target, right? So like, for example, if you have a small PVC pipe that's embedded in some dry sand, it could be hard to see it. All right, I'm sorry if there's some background noise, I'm on the street over here. But if it's embedded in dry sand, PVC, small PVC pipe embedded in dry sand, it could be difficult to see that because they both have very low dielectric properties, okay? So that's number one, right? low dielectric constants. Uh, number two is a limitation of GPR is it can't tell you the composition of what you're identifying, right? It can tell you the contrast if there's a contrast, but it can't tell you, you know, this is gas, this is power, this is uh, uh, um, water, necessarily, right? There are some indicators, right? There are some differences in the responses of those, but it takes some training and some experience to be able to have higher probabilities on your guesses uh, um, than if you don't go through some serious training and don't have experience. So it really doesn't tell you exactly what's going on. Um, you know, context is very important and it can give you a lot of information about the possibilities of what you're identifying, but it doesn't give you the actual target, right? The exact target. You have to come up with the interpretations uh, of what you think is going on. And a lot of that comes down to training, okay? A lot of that comes down to proper training. If you're not trained properly, um, you're going to misidentify it more often than not. The third limitation, right? The third limitation I went over at this, at this, uh, um, at this meeting was that the ground conditions, right, the subsurface conditions, are, can be very limiting. And so poor conditions, you know, are highly conductive materials, right? Those are poor conditions for GPR, and it really will limit the quality of your project, right, the, the, the success of your project. And so, for example, if you're in wet clay, some guy bicycling by gave me a head nod, so I gave him a head nod back. Anyway. If you're uh, in wet clay or you're in, you know, some salt water areas, some brackish areas. I was recently in, in Mexico doing a project on this little island and we were near the, obviously near the Gulf, right? Very close to the, to the coast and uh, it was just eating our signal. So it's very, very difficult um, in highly conductive soils because those soils or that material, that salt water will just, you know, destroy your signal. Okay, it'll destroy your signal quickly and, uh, uh, and it won't see very deep. So that's a third limitation. The, I want to give one more, the fourth limitation and why I'm doing this over here, okay, as opposed to, you know, in front of a whiteboard or whatever where you usually see me, is I drop my kids off and I see this locate that was done, a utility locate of a gas line. And a fourth limitation, I did not bring this up, you know, at this uh, presentation, but a fourth limitation are ground obstructions. Ground obstructions can really limit your ability conduct, to conduct a quality GPR survey. All right, and I'll show you this one right here real quick. Right, so you can see here, I think you can see it, right? These are hovering right on the curb, okay? Over here, they're literally right next to the curb down here, all right? And it runs off the curb, and it jumps back up on the curb, okay? And this can make it very difficult to survey with a GPR and get, you know, accurate data, right? I mean, you might be able to see the side of a hyperbola, right for this gas line that's possible but if you don't see the peak you're not getting a good you know you're not getting good locational accuracy sorry the wind is blowing my hair but you're not going to get good locational accuracy so ground obstructions can be very very limiting for ground penetrating 
uh, radar surveys. And, uh, and this one was clearly done with, with an EM locator, and rightfully so, because they were able just to up and down, up and down the curb, you know, no problem, trace the line all the way up, trace it across the street when they needed to. Um, so it was, it was uh, uh, worthwhile. If you found an area that it was further from the curb, you might be able to use GPR to get a better depth than the EM locator might give you. But ground obstructions are certainly uh, problematic, can be problematic for GPR, and it's definitely another uh, limitation. So those are some limits to GPR surveys and the GPR technique and the technology. Um, if you have, you know, if you have a group and you want to talk or a presentation, then definitely, you know, go to learngpr.com and, uh, uh, you know, just fill out the contact form. Uh, we're happy to do presentations, you know, for your group or your company. Um, you know, we do, we do, you know, half hour, hour long presentations for folks all the time. You know, my goal is obviously to help everybody who's using this technology to just be better, right? If we can all get better, um, then the industry will benefit from it. You know, there'll be more positive feedback from clients. Uh, uh, and everybody, in a sense, is safer, right, with their more locates using GPR uh, when it's appropriate. So if you, if you want us to give you a talk, go ahead and go to learngpr.com, fill in, you know, your, your information and, uh, and send us out, a, you know, a, um, something through the contact page. And uh, if you want some more training, go over there, put your name and email address in. Subscribe to this channel, all right, subscribe to the channel. We're going to, you know, continue to put out good videos, try to help folks. Uh, if you have any suggestions, you know, put them in the comments. If you think that I missed a limitation that you think of, then put it in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. So I hope this was helpful. Share it around, and I will see you on the next video.